Let's learn how to enable autosave inside of VS Code. So first thing, you need to open up your settings. To do that, you can hit Control comma, or you can hit Control shift p and search for settings. We'll open up the UI. So from here, let's search for autosave. And now we get a few different options in here. The first option is the actual autosave field. And from here, you have a few drop down options that you can choose from. The first one is off, and that would just be if you don't want it to autosave, you can just manually save just like you normally would with Control S or File Save. The second one is after delay, and this will be after a given set amount of time, it will do the actual save. So if I click on this, we actually have a second option called autosave delay. And inside of this delay, this is where we set the actual time frame before VS Code decides to actually do the autosave. So this allows you to keep typing, and as long as you haven't exceeded this time limit, it will continue to not save until you do pause and then just wait for it to save. This allows you to basically have a little bit of a buffer room so that it's not just saving all the time but you can set this to a really low number and just have it pretty much save every keystroke. This value is set to milliseconds, so just so you know, that's a thousand milliseconds for every second that you want to use in the delay. The next option is on focus change, and this will be any time you move from your actual editor where you're typing to somewhere else inside of VS Code or to a different window. Basically, it will save if you move away from the typing experience that you have in your editor. So if I were to move to a different file or folder, go to the Explorer and click on something, go to the search, go to my source control, anything that I do inside of VS Code that takes me away from my typing in my editor, it will do the save at that point. The next option is on window change. And what this means is as long as you move within the VS Code ecosphere, it will not do the save. But as soon as you click outside of VS Code, say to another window on a different monitor, it will then save your file. So this allows you to keep working inside of your editor and in, inside of VS Code in general before it actually does the save. And sometimes that can be a good thing because it won't run all of your build tools or anything during that time. Uh, but sometimes you may just want it on focus change. So every time you move away from the actual coding portion, you can actually do your save. These last couple options don't utilize this auto save delay at all. And it's important to know if you do have after delay set as your auto save feature, it will not do the formatting that you would expect it to do on every save. Instead, it doesn't do formatting at all. So just be aware of that. You have to do control S in order to do any sort of on save formatting. The other two options allow for it to, to run the formatter when the focus changes or when the window changes. You do have a couple other options underneath this autosave feature, and that's to autosave when no errors. If there are errors in your file, it will not save that file. So that this is basically a limiting option to limit when it actually saves. Otherwise, if you have this unchecked, it will save regardless of whether there are errors or not. The next one is very similar in the fact that it limits the autosave feature where it will only autosave your workspace files and not outside files. Say you bring something in from some other part of your PC, it wouldn't actually do the autosave for that file. It would only worry about the ones that are currently in your workspace. So let me quickly show these autosave features in action. If we have after delay and we set it to 1000, which is one second, and then we close this window, let's make a modification to this code. I'll just hit enter and you'll notice immediately after one second, you can see that it has uncommitted changes, which basically means it saved and my source control realized that now there's a modification in this file. So now let's go back and switch to on focus change. Now when I'm in this file, I can hit enter and it won't automatically save after that one second. It won't save until I actually move away from this. So if I were to say, click on something in my Explorer, you'll notice now it's saved and you can see that it says you one second ago uncommitted changes, meaning that now my source control sees, hey, this file has been saved. You can also go to other areas. So say I wanted to go to search and you'll see it does the same thing where now it's saved this file. Let's show the last option, which is on window change. And now in the code, if I make some changes, I add some spaces here and then I click over onto my Explorer. What you'll see is that this actually isn't saving, you can see up here that the circle is still lit up, which means it hasn't saved the file yet. It's not until I'll click outside of my environment and it will actually do the save. You can see now that circle is gone and it's modified this file. So those are the ways that you can use autosave inside of VS Code. And if you want to subscribe for more.